What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the Rift Breaker. We are making our way through the brutal campaign. Uh, in between episodes, I let some research tick off. Um, and I also quadrupled my walls. As you see, I walled it up all the way around and did a little bit of uh, just basic exploration. Uh, sadly, didn't run into any more really close resource nodes, but as you see here, we have got an incoming attack in one minute. Now, we had needed to unlock the orbital scanner, which as you see here, I need 500 cobalt to be able to craft. So up in the top right, you see I've got cobalt handling going, and that is really what we're looking to do on this episode, is get that 500 cobalt and, uh, you know, continue to build our base out. And we've got these enemies coming. Um, oh, and you know what else I did? I finished the research on that rocket launcher. So, oh yeah, we're going to make us a rocket launcher here, and that should make life way easier for this mission, uh, having something with a little bit of power there. Now, uh, let's see, we're going to have to deal with this guy right away. Are we going to be able to get him down here? Let's just blaze into him. We've got that group coming. Oh, look at that, man. He just tore me up. Luckily, uh, didn't take anything out. Now, I do expect to lose these mines here when the sword comes in, but it's all about the cobalt right now. And uh, you see we've got this horde of bads out here. Do I want to just go ahead and head on out and meet them? I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, well, we've got the attack coming. We got some of these stealthy, stealthy boys here. Man, I tell you, they are not afraid to aggro buildings. That is for sure. Uh, what else do we got going? Well, we got, um, we got the big pack out here that is still showing uh, up this way across the map here. Oh, and here we go. Here is some beds right here. I think we can, we'll be able to melee a lot of these down. Um, we'll use the rocket launcher for any of the big mobs. But I think that there is going to be quite a few uh, melee opportunities here. Let's see. Let's uh, blow these guys up. Wow, man, they are actually quite durable. Took three rocket hits. Wow. I'm sure this stuff is going to get wrecked, and uh, then it's going to be all about um, just clearing these guys out, rebuilding, and then getting that cobalt handling uh, taken care of. What do we got, man? All right, looks like we're doing pretty good on them here now. we got a few more heavier mobs to deal with. The rocket launcher did pretty well. You know, obviously I'm going to want... Uh, I'm going to want some meteor, meteor things, but I mean, for now, that did pretty good. It got the job done. All right, so we've got our uh, cobalt research done now. We need to get over and research this one with the geoscanner. There's another carbonium. We're just going to take out any bads we run into along the way, because I'm going to have to fight them eventually, right? Might as well just get it, get it over with. Uh. There we go. We are able to get the job done there. Uh, hopefully there's not too many mobs out here, but it is nice to see uh, a little bit more carbonium there, though. Good stuff here. And how are we doing? Ooh, what have we here? I think this is going to cause a massive, massive amount of enemies to rush me. Here they come. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Looks like we're able to get them. Let's get this uh, little resource node here popped, and then we'll head on over and get our kobold. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get something here. What have we got? We got more bands. We unlocked a unique item, a cryo dash. That's interesting. 
so I'll be able to freeze enemies that I dash through. Hmm, that could be fun. Uh, when you hit those notes like that, it's going to, sometimes it'll give you resources, sometimes it'll give you new research. Uh, in that situation there, of course, it gave me new research, and oh man, of course this guy is going to be buried. Ooh, here's some enemies I haven't ran into before. Let's get uh, the rocket launcher out for these guys. Oh, these guys are meaty, meaty, meaty. Holy crap, man. Two more of them. Am I going to have enough rockets? Ooh, they hit like a truck, too. Get our shotgun going at the same time. There we go. All right, so we are looking good. Now, let's get over here and find this cobalt. Uh, of course, the cobalt is going to be the first of the more advanced materials. Um, are we going to be able to get to it this way? Boy, I certainly hope so. And then now this is also introducing us to our scanner here. Oh man, we got another pack of them. Wow, and I am really, really low health too. Okay, use spacebar for the geo scanner. Now those guys are actually fighting something else over there. So let's just go ahead and uh, geo scan it up. No, no such luck there. I really need to make myself some of those fists soon. The uh, fists are quite powerful because they provide you with a little bit of a life leech. And it's just really, really strong. So I'm actually wondering if you dual wielded this and had the fists on each hand, if you would... Has been developed. You know, you, it almost feels like you'd be unkillable to an extent. But, oh, and there we go. We got our first death. We dropped our small machine gun, sadly. Uh, but, you know, we gotta clear them out before we can get there. So let's head back out this way once again. Uh, we still have, um, research going, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, we gotta get out here. We gotta find this cobalt, and, uh, you know, the first death is never fun, that's for sure. But that was just, uh, being a little bit careless, but, you know, not the end of the world. Let's continue to head out this way. Uh, pick up our weapon. We don't want to leave any uh, weapons laying around on the ground out here, that's for sure. And as soon as we get out here into this circle, we should be able to get uh, get that cobalt found here. Okay, so we are there. Of course, it gets uh, louder and louder the closer you get. And there we go. There is a big old fatty cobalt node. It is so far out here, though. There's just now that you've got practice with using no the way. Scanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. Nice. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head on back. Um, one thing I've forgotten so far is I've got to give myself a way to get around the base quickly. So let's go ahead and get that stuff down. And that is going to be these rift portals. So, I mean, I want one like in every corner of the base. And that way I can just instant travel to each of the rift portals uh, or wherever needs, you know, needs my attention at the moment. Let's go over here as well. And improve our energy storage capacity. I don't think we need one right there, but we can put one up here. Okay, so I've got to construct the orbital scanner now. Now, the orbital scanner is going to give us... It's going to open up a whole lot uh, once we get that going, as we'll be moving around to different zones. Uh, let's go ahead and give it lots of room as well. The orbital scanner is going to be not near as big. Not near as big. Uh, let's just throw it. Actually, you know what? Let's just put it... Let's put it Our completely out of the way here somewhere. Storage facilities. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. Let's go like that. That is uh, completely out of the way and uh, won't be an issue. Okay, and now we're at that point where we've got more research to wait on. 
Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the alien research laboratory building. All right, so now it is walking me into the alien research, which in order to be built, download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. So you actually have to you have to research things to be able to unlock that research. So let's see. And um, what do we need to get to? We need to get right here. So to get there, we need our headquarters to be level three. We also need to get this prerequisite here, uh, liquid resource handling. Uh, let's go ahead and queue that one up. And then we're going to need to work on our headquarters and getting it upgraded to level three. Now, when I do this, that is going to instigate yet another attack. So we're going to uh, make sure that we're good and decked out before we instigate one more attack. You know, I think I'm actually pretty happy with how things are looking here. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Now, what else do we have that we can uh, get Many going now? Has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Let's see, we've got our new biomass generator, which is animal biomass. I mean, might as well throw that down, right? I'm going to tuck it in right here as well, just to keep things good and out of the way. In fact, we could throw, uh, like, some more solar or whatever in this gap right here in this dead spot. We're going to end up filling this entire square. Uh, there's no doubt there, but, uh, Not yeah. Animal Not enough animal biomass. Got to go kill some more animals, uh, which is fine, which is fine. We're actually full up on power anyway. So that will be a good, uh, just kind of like last resort there. We've still got our regular biomass going as well, so we're able to get that done. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what it's going to take to get upgraded to level three. Well, we've got the carbonium, we've got the ironium. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. We'll pop that right now. And as you see, that triggered a, another attack. So we've got two minutes here, and we're going to have another attack rolling in. Uh, we can go ahead and get decked out for that, or we can just uh, plan with some weapons. And in fact, you know, is there any other cool weapons I want access to? I kept talking about those power fists. I think I'm going to add that power fist in because I just really think that's going to be super strong. Additionally, I know grenades are really good, so I'm going to get the grenades uh, added to the queue as well. And then one thing I just haven't done the whole time is protect myself at all, so... Let's get a few armor platings made. Uh, we got two of them there, and we can plug those in, and they are straight up going to give us 20 HP. Um, they're going to help us out, so we are going to get uh, two of those in right now. That will help us with this upcoming attack, and we've got a minute and 45 seconds, so what else do we need? We're actually good on power. It makes me wonder, do I need more power storage? Um, in fact, I think that's what I can kind of fill in on these dead spots over here, maybe, is a little bit more power storage. So, let's see. Let's go something... Well, we got a couple of them in, anyway. Let's just leave it at the two for the moment here. Uh, that will give me a little bit more uh, topside capacity and let these things fill up a little bit more course we're going to want more and more and more and more as we go here in fact let's just grab a few more of them right here and really make sure we're capable of storing that power i don't know but i think that is way beyond overkill now as far as the power storage uh, each one of these holds an additional 10k but additionally i'm going to be able to upgrade them later and they're going to hold even more power so I'm thinking I am going to be good to go on the power. Now, we've got, um, they're coming from the north, uh, the northwest and the southwest on this particular one. So we're going to want uh, to have a little bit of a dual front defense here. And I think we're actually doing pretty good. 
Now, these uh, towers here, I'm going to want to upgrade them. Eventually, I'm probably going to end up wanting to replace them with better towers. But for the moment, uh, we're just going to go with what we've got here. And um, what do we want for weapons? Well, we're going to use that shotgun quite a bit as they come in. Uh, we got seven seconds. The first thing they're going to take out is this right here. So we will have to rebuild that. Uh, in fact, I kind of feel like I want to go ahead and get some more um, some more mines set up as well. We've got tons of Ironium set up here still. And uh, let's see. Where are they? Where are they? they got a long way to run. As you see, they're spawning all the way in the far corner out there. We got tower ammunition handling, too. That's going to really help out as we're getting pushed. Uh, as you know, I mean, our tower's got to have ammo, right? Where are you, old baddies? Where are you? They're taking their sweet old time and getting here. Oh, and here they come now. They're going to switch right over. Let's uh, go ahead and get a rocket launcher going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these guys are going to destroy that without any problem. But, you know, it's kind of like a target dummy. It's super cheap for me to rebuild. So it's not really a huge deal, and it allows me just to farm up all of these enemies. Uh, this is going to give me a ton of energy, too, because we are going to kill a lot of bads right here. I'm going to blow all of my rockets here into these heavy mobs, and then uh, I think it's going to be clear, or really close to clear anyway. So we'll get a little assist from our towers here. Uh, good stuff there. Let's go ahead and get the shotgun going as well. Oh, and we just wrecked them. So I'm sure there's going to be something left over. Is there anything left over? Wow, we actually just were able to really, really clear them out here. Yeah, we're looking good. Well, let's get this carbonium mine back. As you know, we are far from done with that. There's still 17,000 carbonium sitting there. Which we want to get our hands on, so we'll get that back up and running. And we're in pretty good shape again. So we got another attack survived. Uh, my towers did great. They did way better than I expected them to. So very, very pleased with what we got so going so far. Um, we're meaty, y'all. We are meaty. Now we got um, a little bit more research done. I'm going to add in even more as some of these uh, research queue times are just super, super long. So, uh, going to get that going, but before we do that, what is the biggest addition we could make here right now? Well, it is without a doubt a second communication sub. A second communication sub is going to double our research time. It's going to drain a ton of power, there's no doubt, and as you see, our power is hitting rock bottom now. So, uh, we're going to want to think about that down the road, too. And I think kind of a no-brainer there would be to get into this geothermal. So uh, let's get the geothermal thermal power plants going. We'll uh, get that one researched. Let's research uh, headquarters level four. That way we're planning ahead. And uh, we still need to get over to, to the alien research to get caught up on our quest. So we'll let some of these research uh, projects tick away. Get some of that unlocked. But that will do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.